Hello everyone, it's Zena from 8 Bytes and welcome back to Wedding Part 2 Dancing, having fun And only afterwards I'm going to talk to the Mirror Master Let's make him stop doing these kinds of stuff Let's go, Vladimir. Thanks. The way you move. What's that over there? Oh, what's this? Oh, drink. Sir Dwarves, may your beards grow long, but never tangle around your ankles. Ooh. More drink. Yeah, I can see now. have more fun there was the the mirror master there but I want to do some stuff Ooh, lovely lovely sky I really love these outdoor weddings this one is puking that part is off hello shiny There, Shani. The ladder begs us to scamper to its top, where we can converse. Uh, then let us scale. But how so? Just like that. <laughs> there aren't that many ways to scale the ladder. What's this? You must have a splendid time. That's what matters. Oh, Make sit down, wait. Am I going to let's sit? Come now. Just like that. What would you have us talk about? I I'm sorry, converse. Well, when it comes right down to it. Yes. You see, the thing is. Come now, spit it out. Mm -hmm. I... Yes, just as I thought. <laughs> it's time we return. <laughs> well, he tried. Shit. What's just as you think? Cows only ever give a little milk. I've only ever dealt with simple maids, whereas you're a surgeon. I believe I was right not to just take you and. Well, I was right to take the more of romantic of these flowers. You, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistakenly for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough! <laughs> Drunk and randy! Nothing good's ever come that thing. Everyone has a, a backache. <laughs> my nymph! My nymph! Okay, no. What's this? Drink! I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny, naturally. Your elf and happiness! Fortune smile upon you, white wolf! Hello? Do you need help? Shiny darling, oh you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her, wild revelry. So I hired a, a true fire eater. You know, woo scoop, sizzle sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear, diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. But we'll show them how wrong they are. 
Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Broomzown chased him off. A blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the Fire Eater arrived around noon. Ate his fill of food, not fire. Then went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. <coughs> that horror demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn fool dog. How can you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. There'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I will find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. <laughs> the flame gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. He's probably eaten we thank by you. now. And hope for the best. I'm gonna find the head and nothing more. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. <sighs> Fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. The tricks. Dog made these tracks true, but a small one. Yet judging by its house, demon is a hulk. But beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Oh, not so clean. I've only ever seen two like this. One in an antel. The other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. Its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. Shit. You must have a splendid time. The hound tore its chain off the wall. Make the most of Underfed, it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mud's blood. The capping starts at midnight. Until then, enjoy yourself. Go wild. Okay, let's chase the hound. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travail. Juicy the bear! West. Shan't be long now. Okay, I guess I found the guy. <laughs> missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Yeah, I'll calm it. Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. 
Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. <laughs> now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun. Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, <laughs> this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. <laughs> Goodbye, wine. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. But I was fleeing a noun. And but it, it was a monster, a, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Know what would become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Mm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. Can barely stand, let alone perform. <laughs> First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Okay. Whatever. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? Y yes. Good. Then let's be off. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Okay, escort the fire swallower back to the wedding. Come on. That's what I call fun. God. What? Bear. Bear. That. As much as your cock's a tent pole. Hide, you blind. Shit. I love this step. Bear, gonna loot. Can't tell loot. me, our bears often it's bore not a bear, it's a boar. Got weak eyes, see. Besides, I'm a fire eater. Not some damn naturalist. Naturalist. Master, I uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altonsborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. <laughs> the missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. <laughs> and Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. <laughs> Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. 
Got as much life in him as a carrot. <laughs> Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! <laughs> I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! And escape the dog! You must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. Come on, just do it. <laughs> now you kids, spit some fire. Yes, level thirty-two. Ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a witcher for damn certain. Let me just see the points available. Gonna do this one. I like that. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, then. So I have one more. It's here. Oh, it's Gwent. Shit. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. <laughs> no need for insults. <laughs> midget. Apologies. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? <laughs> have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. Oh, oh girl, it's going to be so Never pissed. Never be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. I can't play, Gwen. Many large I sides. I suck. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. Oh. I shan't lose. <laughs> I see where this is going. Yeah, okay, whatever, whatever. Okay, start game. I have won the round! Don't know how. I have zero cards. Okay, I'm fucked. I already knew that. You lose, Witcher. Hand over the wager. Everything. And I have uh, to use the damn years. We could reach an arrangement. Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin. What do we do now? Feel good losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win. Give you the coin. I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Rory's <laughs> drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him done the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I say he dons the cup and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? Agreed. 5% is yours, and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do. And Vladimir von Everex, a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everex. Rogue's long dead by my reckoning. Exactly. <laughs> Those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink! We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. <laughs> to the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. 
And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. <laughs> ah, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. I think you look charming. Quite the lark, this Gwent. Onward to the next diversion. He's a beautiful lassie, Satan. Oh, yes. Quite a feather in his cap. Ah. Are there more activities? Uh, I guess not. Let's speak to the mirror master then. Scusi. Our gingerbread's now but flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious voice. <laughs> the years on girl. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it. Time is the key. Greetings, Shy. <laughs> I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply. I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days and always wished to be just like you. Oh, oh. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because. I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more, and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest. Nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Oh, oh. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining wedding model. All geared ran faster, shot true or lifted greater weight. All geared learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you may do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale invitation. Oh, by the way, all gears are much better dance. <laughs> oh, man! You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it. I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgierd visits my grave, often. Pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear
hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry. It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. Hmm. It's really weird that he tries to take the fun out of him. He was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Capping ceremony, what's that? Now revel on. Time will wait. Oh, what's this? I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. Oh, I'm that's throwing the bouquet, is it? Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's <laughs> delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. Geralt, there's no need. No need? Why, there's every need. <laughs> <coughs> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. Or tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farmhands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts, they did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? <laughs> but this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you, and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice? Of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely man with his pale and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind our song, we all sing to be unkind. We seem so weak and empty, yet turned on their side. Christ won't hold eternal. Well, they both have garland in their heads. <laughs> What the hell is he doing? Okay, no ink, so blood, of course. Next option. <laughs> is he crying? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> that really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Gear's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. 
Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. That was dirt, but good. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. <laughs> that kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more, or two more, or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. Ah! I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. You stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Oh shit! Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> oh, he's Satan. Gods, what is this? What did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. <laughs> I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. No! Not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Shit! Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. <laughs> you understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. 
You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Go have fun, Geralt. Go have fun. He's trying to be helpful. So now that the wedding is over, I'm going to try and reconquer Shani. And I'm already sensing that it's going to be a rated 18 episode in the next one. So if you're under 18, don't come and watch the episode. <coughs> Reverse psychology. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe. Goodbye.